Hey, good morning everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to expand a Windows volume or partition or hard disk, whatever you'd like to call it. It's technically a volume. Um, when you have a recovery partition or any other partition that butts up to the right side of the partition that you're looking to, or excuse me, or the volume that you're looking to expand. Might be a little easier to explain if I show you. So on this Windows 11 VM, let's go ahead and open disk management. Get my microphone a little closer. So we'll open disk management here on Windows 11. And we'll see that right now our C drive or our system volume is 65 gigabytes. And just to the right of that, immediately to the right of that, is a small recovery partition. So let's add some space here in VMware Workstation. And I'll show you what I'm talking about um, as far as not being able to natively within disk management or within Windows expand that C volume to the additional space that we'll add. So in VMware Workstation, you do have, excuse me, you do have to power off the virtual machine. So let's do that first. If we were running a full-blown uh, ESXi hypervisor, we wouldn't need to do that. But uh, this is our lab, and this is what we're working with here, Workstation. Okay, so that is powered off. Let me change my display so you can see how we expand. So I don't think you guys will be able to see that now. Okay, give me one second. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Yes, you can. Okay, so with the VM powered off, we're going to go to settings. And then we're going to go to the hard disk. And over here on the right, you have your disk utilities. Just click on expand. Just for demonstration purposes, we'll bring it from 65 to 70 gigabytes and click expand. Doesn't take long at all. Successfully expanded. Click OK. And now we're going to power the VM back on. And I'll switch back to the other view while this is loading up. Okay, we'll wait for the Windows VM to load back up here. Shouldn't take but a few seconds. This is a lab, so we can go ahead and skip this. Feel free to let your check disk run as you'd like. Since this again lab box, I'm not concerned. All right, let's go ahead and get logged in. And now when we open disk management this time, we should see that additional five gigabytes of unallocated space. However, we're not going to be able to expand that natively, <coughs> natively within Windows. All right, so just as predicted here, we have our 65 gigabyte C drive volume, and then we have our recovery partition, and we have our five gigs. So what we're trying to do is add this five gigs to the 65 gigs to make it 75 gigs. Extend volume is grayed out here, and that is because this volume is already formatted. In, in Windows, you can only merge or expand volumes to volumes that are immediately butted up to each other. So we can't do that. There's no way to drag and move these around within Windows. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a utility and boot from it in a live ISO and we'll be able to move this partition around so that we can then expand. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll go ahead and switch views here again. Okay guys, so first thing you're going to want to do is you can go ahead and power this back off because we're going to have to boot into the ISO. So let's get this guy shut down. While he's shutting down, you're going to want to go ahead and grab Gparted. I'll throw the link in the video description. You want to head over to gparted.org forward slash download.php. Chances are you're running a 64-bit operating system nowadays, so click on the download Gparted Live 14, whatever the latest version is when you're watching this, 64.iso. I already have it, so I'm going to cancel out of here. Once you guys have that downloaded, you're going to want to mount that in VMware. So you should be able to go to <coughs> settings. I think I already have mine mounted, but I'll show you how to do it. Head over here, use ISO image, browse, and then find that ISO image. Looks like I did download another copy. But you would just attach the Gparted ISO, 
and make sure it says connect that power on. Hit OK and then you'll go ahead and boot into that ISO when you power up. Alright guys, so once you're able to boot from ISO, you'll be greeted with the G-parted GUI. Go ahead and take the defaults here. And give that a second to load up. And just continue to take the defaults here. Default language is English. Keyboard layout, leave it the same. Go ahead and boot. So once the uh, UI boots up, it will boot right into the G-Parted application, which is what you want to interact with. So we're going to see that we have a couple partitions in the middle. We're going to want to move these. Actually, this is unallocated, doesn't matter. We need to move the recovery partition, so click on that. And then you're gonna click on resize or move. Just grab it and move it all the way to the right until it says free space following is zero. Click on resize, okay. And then apply all actions. That'll take a few seconds here to complete. Once it's done, close it out. We can close this, double click exit, and then we'll reboot, and it'll tell us to disconnect the ISO. So you want to make sure it's not checked to connect the power on, hit OK, and then we'll go ahead and reboot. Give this a second to come up. Okay guys, I'll go ahead and switch views while that's booting up. Alright, we've got Windows back online here. And now when we launch Disk Manager, we should see the C volume and the unallocated space right next to each other. If things went as planned. And look at that, we have our 65 gig C drive volume right next to our unallocated so now we should be able to right click and extend the volume use all the space and now we have a 70 gig volume so this is a very useful tool in a real world situations I've used it uh, in my career when needed if you have a volume um, like that and you're in a situation obviously no threat of running out of space here this was for lab demonstration purposes but you do see we are at 70 now uh, but yeah this can get you out of a pinch trust me it's it's been a help in the real world for me so if you are in IT or you're just you know working on computers day to day make sure you jot down this tool G parted and put it in your tool belt because I guarantee it'll come in handy one day hope this has been helpful guys uh, please subscribe. I'm going to have a lot more content coming out soon. And I uh, appreciate you watching and sticking around. So until the next video, take care, guys.